Hi kids, it's me again, Mrs. Ward, and we are going to do a review of what we did last time, which is symbolic and realistic drawing. And we started in part one, we started these piggy drawings. So let's review first symbolic and uh, realistic. Here we have examples of symbolic and realistic art. S um, symbolic art is done with symbols or shapes, and it's very simple. And it, it, it's like um, a cartoon or something that would be fictional. Whereas realistic art has very complicated shapes and it looks like something that we'd see in real life. And it would be like in non, it would be like in a nonfiction story. So taking a look at these between the two cats, which one is realistic? If you said top, you're correct. In the second group right here of the tigers, which one is realistic? If you said the bottom one, you are correct. And over here at the end, which one of these lions is realistic? If you said bottom, you are correct. So if we look at these examples of symbolic or realistic, I'm going to point to them and I want you to tell me symbolic or realistic. This one right here. Realistic. Good. What about this one? Yep. Symbolic. You got it. Looks more like a cartoon. What about this one? Symbolic. Yep. It does not look like you would see this outside in the real world. What about this one? It is more realistic, but if you said symbolic, you might be looking at the main of this lion. The mane is kind of drippy paint and so that looks a little bit symbolic, but the face is definitely realistic. What about this one up here, this tiger? You got it, realistic. And what about this one right here, this cat? You got it, symbolic. Okay, now we did a drawing of Piggy uh, from the Elephant and Piggy books. And is this symbolic or realistic, guys? You got it. This is symbolic. So we're going to first paint our pig. And so I'm going to give you some um, pink paint. And we are going to paint our pigs. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And when... I'm going to pause and then when I come back, we're going to make it into a piggy party. Something if you did not do this before, um, we need to add some stars to our piggy party. So this is the easiest way to make a star for little kids. Um, we make a great big, and these are oil pastels, we make a great big letter A with really long arms and then we take, if you think of this as a body and we have two legs, arms, and a head, we connect the arm to the opposite leg and the other arm to the opposite leg and we get a star. And so if you have not finished coloring these in, do this before you do your paint. I guess you could do it now. Um, let me make some, make them big, make them small, but this is going to give your picture, uh, is it? this is going to give your picture some, it already looks like a party, okay? And so then we might also want to color these in, okay? So if you need those oil pastels, get those oil pastels and color some of these in. Um, you might want to do some pink or some other colors. Let's do a couple different colors. So let's do that next. Let's finish that. There, all my stars are colored in. The last thing we're going to do is 
I'm going to give you two colors of paint and uh, you are going to paint different kinds of lines so it almost looks like confetti and and strings of ribbon or flying in the air to make it look like a fun piggy party but before you use your brush if your brush was dirty from painting your pig make sure you swish it around in the bottom of your water cup and then dab it off on the paper next to it and then we're gonna just start with one color guys don't switch back and forth or you're gonna have a mess and I'm going to make some squiggly lines there we go and maybe some zigzag lines if you want to do some zigzag lines there we go and then I'm going to rinse my brush and dab it again and then use the other color let's see zoop zoop and you can go over the stars too if you want because they won't they won't get covered up at all because they're oil pastel. There we go. There is my piggy party. All done. Maybe some dots. Make it exciting. Woo! All right. My piggy party's done. Now it's time for you to finish yours.